To be a great engineering leader, you need to understand that you're part of a greater team. In this week's engineering management lessons video, we have with us Stan Wurst, operations leader and a leader in the engineering industry. And Stan's gonna share some advice that he's picked up for managing and leading people. And I'm gonna come back on the other side of Stan because I have some specific examples that I can share with you that I think will be very beneficial to your engineering career success. Stan, take it away. Well, I'd say to start off with, I'd say be patient. Um, you know, things don't happen overnight, especially someone's personal development. But you know, I was I was thinking about getting into a leadership position, um, and basically all the different positions that there are within a company. Uh, I've moved around a bit within the company, held different positions, had different responsibilities, and um, you know, when I was growing up, maybe in in high school or so, you know, I grew up in Chicago. That's where I am. And we saw the Chicago Bulls win six championships. And something that was stressed at that time was role players. Um, everyone on the team plays a role, whether you're leading scorer, whether you're, you know, getting all the rebounds, whether you're just a three-point shooter, and I say just, but everyone has a role. And I see the same in companies. Um, everyone has a role, whether you're um, estimating work to bring in work to the company, whether you're designing work to make sure it's safe, whether you're managing projects to make sure it's done well and the company makes money, um, whether it's being an intern and just collecting data, taking those elevations of test pits. Um, you know, everyone has a role and recognizing that you're part of something bigger and are contributing to that. I think is very important both for yourself to realize as well as acknowledging others. And I think, you know, some roles are leadership, some roles are management, but it's still a role. It's a position that you play. Um, you can't do everything yourself. Uh, it's, it's a team effort and that, that holds true with, with companies too and business. Thanks so much, Stan. That is really interesting stuff. And I just want to add to what Stan said and kind of get back to the idea of understanding everyone's role. Essentially, what I found is that great engineering leaders have to be like great athletic coaches. Stan referenced the Bulls, right? Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, a lot of great players. However, if they didn't have that coach, Phil Jackson, to keep them all together, they probably wouldn't have won all those championships. And Michael Jordan has said this. The same goes in engineering. You could have the best engineering professionals on your team. But if you don't understand their strengths, their weaknesses, how and where to position them, how to interact with them, then you're not going to be a great leader. It doesn't matter how great the team is. So like Stan said, have patience, understand everyone's roles, and be a great coach. I hope you enjoyed this week's Engineering Management Lessons video. We put out videos weekly to help engineers become better managers and leaders. Subscribe here to make sure you're getting these videos and you can engineer your own success. See you next week.